Good day. Welcome. This is your daily med with Lady V. Grace and peace be multiplied. I just want to wish you a happy, a prosperous, and a God-centered and a God-filled new year. I want to take the time out to encourage you today from Philippians chapter 4, verse 6 and verse 7. From the King James Version, it tells us, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your request be made known to God. And the peace of God, which surpasses all comprehension, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. So as we are encouraged today to trust in God and not to worry about life's problems, when we do not worry, we understand and that God is in control. When we do not worry, it means that we are praying to him, bringing our supplications to him, giving him thanks in advance that whatever needs to be done, we are placing our faith in him and believing what he says to us in his word concerning what is going on in our lives and therefore we will find peace and comfort in our prayer we will seek his guidance and his wisdom in all things when we worry about everything it means that we are praying about nothing but when we are praying about everything it means that we are worrying about nothing so let us live in peace and purpose instead of worry and stress you may say to me but we have entered a new year. Somebody will even go on to say, uh, but it's an even year. It's a leap year. A year when February will have uh, 29 days. And some people tend to think uh, we will see even more trouble or even more evil befalling us as uh, a people, all because of sin. But with all that aside, the Bible still tells us we should not worry. One scripture in St. Matthew 6, 25 to 34, Jesus told his followers in the Sermon on the Mount, Do not worry about your life, what you will eat or drink, or about your body, what you will wear. So he said, do not worry about tomorrow. We have an heavenly father who loves us, here for us, is able to support us. So why worry or be anxious? This is one of the most comforting and encouraging texts that we can have her read even on this first day, January 1, 2024. Believers can always find renewed strength in the Word of God. Believers can hold steadfast to this wonderful truth 
in this present life that God is present with us always he is near and he is dear to every believer every moment and he knows whatever we are going through therefore if he says don't be anxious if he says don't be worry it means that when we do we lack the trust and the confidence in the sovereignty of his power of his faithfulness and his truthfulness as believers we need to realize that our confidence in life does not come from ourselves but from the all-powerful God of the universe so the Apostle Paul is telling us not to worry about anything if we worry we are basically saying to God God you cannot handle it God you cannot do it therefore I have to take whatever I am going through upon myself by contrast if we are to take everything to God in prayer and his peace will guard our hearts and minds believers then we should stand fast in Christ knowing that when we put our trust in him he will help us he will respond to the trials he will give us the strength to endure hardship and we will be thankful in prayer remember we can commit everything to him he knows the minutest of the details of our lives and the Bible says he is concerned with that which concerns us so if he is concerned about our welfare if he is concerned about our well-being as his children he is going to take care of us so yes the future might be uncertain but why worry about tomorrow yes we may have things that seem to go wrong in our lives but why worry when things go wrong why worry when we can pray why worry when we can trust Jesus knowing that he will give us the, the direction that we need the very grace to face the tomorrows the very grace to face our trials and our temptation and you might say what is grace grace is divine assistance for our daily living and he will supply us with grace multiplied by grace he will give us peace multiplied by peace and we often sing because he lives I can face tomorrow because he lives all my fears are gone because I know who holds tomorrow and I know he holds my hand what a friend we have in Jesus all our sins and our griefs to bear it is a privilege that we can take everything to him in prayer does Jesus cares yes he cares I know his heart is touched with our griefs when the nights become long and the days become lonely he is always with us he promised that he will never leave us nor forsake us so he says come to me bring everything in prayer 
let your supplication be known unto me. He says, without exception, bring everything. Can we do this in 2024? Rely upon God and not upon our own selves. So today, we are encouraged to bring everything to him, not just the life-altering problems. But everything, the small day-to-day -day anxieties, the small day-to-day -day worries, he cares and is concerned about us. And so, because we are his children, yes, he is going to take good care of us. He says, when we bring the concerns, he gives us the peace that surpasses our human understanding. We cannot worry and have peace at the same time. Neither do we worry when we have peace. So let us commit everything to him. Pray about everything and worry about nothing. God bless you. Thank you again for watching. Please subscribe. It is free. Like, share, also comment. And please continue to visit my YouTube channel, Daily Med with Lady V.